Hi Libra, welcome to Sugar Free. This is a flash reading for the autumn equinox today, 22nd of September 2018, where the light and the dark are in perfect balance. Uh, the light is the active, hot, do it, yang principle. <laughs> the dark is the passive, cool, space in which what is done is done principle. <laughs> uh, if you like, uh, the, uh, the light, the yang is the object, the darkness, the yin is the space around the object. You do not get one without the other. So I'll just give one last shuffle. Neither is better or worse than the other. We just tend to have a liking for light because it is light that creates life. And because we are part of life, we tend to rather like it. But the life has to come from somewhere and it comes out of the yin, out of the darkness. Okay, one last shuffle. And one last cut. Two card major arcana reading, then one from the Wild Kuan Yin Oracle. Here's card number one, the Magician. Card number two, Temperance in the Reverse. Wow, Libra. Woohoo! <laughs> That's quite pokey. Uh, okay, <laughs> the space in which we are active today on this Equinox Day is full of manifestation, full of energy, full of creation, full of, wow, full of action. I mean, this is, this is proto-action, the magician. This is when the empty mind gets an idea. <laughs> the empty mind is the full card, the zero card. And this is card number one. This is, this is active within itself. There's very little passivity in this yin space. Goodness me. Now, really, <laughs> I would expect to see these around here. <laughs> but they're not. They're like this. So this is the space we're moving, we're, we're waking into today. The active principle, what we're bringing to bear on this space, is temperance in the reverse. So... I would say, Libra, this looks like one real humdinger of a day. It really does. Um, you know, this is um, breaking out of the stasis and the closed circuit of the temperance card. This is shaking up the perfect balance of the angel of temperance and that liquid which is basically emotion that is being poured in a closed circuit from one vessel to the other. It's not flowing in and it's not flowing out through her. It's contained within her. And it's just flowing back and forth and back and forth in perfect stillness. You, know, you can't stay like that forever and clearly you are not. Clearly you are not. There's massive creativity here and there is um, I, I would say um, really left field change really out of the box change being applied to a very creative space here wow it, that is exciting that is seriously exciting. And I don't even want to say anything cautionary about this. I really, really don't. Because um, I guess having said that, there is an element of caution <laughs> about it. Um, something could possibly get spilled today. I mean, there's the liquid, as I say, being poured between the two vessels here. The magician is holding the cup with the wine here. 
with all his kit laid out on the table, ready to magic something out of nothing. So there is there is liquid here. You know, just just I don't mean take care as in all like you know, watch yourself. I don't I don't mean it like that, but but you don't really want to lose any of this. The key to moving past this this closed circuit is not to just throw the jugs away, but it's to look around and see that um this in in this card finite amount of fluid here actually has to come in from somewhere and has to flow on out from somewhere one has to become kind of a conductor of uh you know you think about electrical conduction that the electricity passes through the conductor and that's what we are emotion we are conductors of emotion it flows in from around us, data coming in, you know, interactions that we have with people, things that are said, um, other people's emotional stuff kind of acting upon us. It flows through us and out from us. Um, and clearly, because this is in the reverse, that's what's going. That that's what this day is about. But this is being brought to bear. This action is happening. Um, within a space and onto and into a space of superb manifestation. Let's see what Kuan Yin has to say. It's a humdinger of a day, Libra. <laughs> I don't think you're going to be in the same place by the end of this day as you were when you began it. And it will be by your own hand. <laughs> oh, how lovely. Taurus got this. All is well, Libra. It's safe to fall. Now, she does look a little bit, whoa, a little bit. I mean, she's looking up. But she's moving down, <laughs> she's falling, but it's safe to do so. What's that at the top there? Oh, it's a little bird. It's safe to let go. Let go. What is this going to bring? This is fantastic. I hope uh, whatever comes here is not going to um, bring tears, but it, it might, and maybe it has to. I'm thinking about um, liquid spilling. Maybe it has to, but whatever this is, it is safe to engage in it. There's a letting go here, Libra, but it's letting go, as I say, into a space of profound... Um, Energy, <laughs> profound energy, wonderful. I would say suck it and see, Libra. That's what we say in England, suck it and see. And that's not rude. <laughs> I, I'll leave it there, I'll quit while I'm ahead. <laughs> please like, please share, please subscribe. I hope this resonates in some way. We shall see. Um, the October readings will be up soon, Libra, so do keep an eye out for those. And I'll see you again soon. Have a lovely day. Have a lovely weekend. Cheers, bye-bye.